we are doing a tier list based on my opinion of the Mortal Kombat 11 roster in its current meta, in its current state. The game is obviously finished, so nothing else is happening to it. Um, but okay, alright, so first person starting off. Um, I think we all saw this coming because, in my opinion, this character is broke as fuck. And that character is. Uh, Jackie Briggs. Um, so, Jackie, top five, or top one in the game, best in the game, because her weakness was zoning, and with the leap, and her just. Cinderella 2 Fatal Blows 100%. Her ability is to jump over everything is fucked. Um, she gets a lot of pressure for no reason, and she has the most unbreakable damage in the game that you can get multiple times throughout the game. One of the best projectiles in the game too. Yeah, 100% with the uh, shooting, like shooting up. Just the dot damage as well. Like, I'm not even mentioning that. If you use the lethal splint, she gets so many like grappling options from it. So much. Um, she gets a massive KB from it and does hella damage. She's busted. She's playing her own different game. This next character, I believe, in my opinion, is number two, is Cabal. And here is why. <clears throat> that slight air gas move is the best pressure tool in the game. It is the best special move in the game. It gives him an unreasonable amount of damage. It's it's so stupid. It is very, very strong. See, look at this, right? Let's set this... What am I doing? Full screen. Look at this wave dash. It's not even fucking wave dash. I can't even wave dash. Look. look at that. And with this... Like, look at that. And then he, you're like in the range that he wants to be. So anyway, so Jackie and Cabal, in my opinion, top two, basically uh, they had weaknesses with zoning, getting zoned out, and they just gave them massive, massive air movement. 15 subs if you put rain on top of the list. Do you really want to make me lie, Layla? No, I won't be doing that, bro. Okay, so. Number three. Number three. Etc. Um, no surprise to see her in the top five. You've got the tornado. You've got the rock wall, which is a very good neutral tool. Um, you've also got the air fucking hell's wrath or whatever it is. Game plan up close. But that is not where she excels. She excels at full screen. Um, she excels at full screen and zoning you out. She, she, she has pretty much everything except for what, she has everything but one major thing that the rest of these people in the top five have. This, this is what they have over Cetrion. This is why she isn't top two, this is why she is top three. And it's because of her damage. Her damage is ass. She gets less damage than a Soul's Clue, Devorah, Creeping Crawler combo. Like, it is, it is, it is dog shit, her damage. But look, if she didn't have, if she had more damage, then she would be right at the top. If she could get 40% unbreakable, she'd be right at the top. Okay, alright. Number four is Fujin. Why is Fujin in the top four? Uh, like the top two there, he has amazing air movement with his Skywalker. He has that slide, which is just, an, an online, it's a fucking pain in the ass can be safe on absolutely everything, has an extremely great throw game, has the easiest hit confirmable mid-string. Very, very good movement. Best movement on the ground out of these out of these top four so far. That's where I think that's where I think Fujin sits. I don't see the number four. Who do you think's number five? Joker, Jade, Lou. Kodal. I'll tell you what, two people are right. It is this motherfucker, Kodal Khan. Alright, so top five. 
What do we think about it? Is that a fair top five? Top 10, number six to 10. First character I'm going to have in here is, oh, I did this before, but I'm not sure if I really agree with myself. I think, I think I'm gonna chuck Luke Kang up there. Okay, all right. So moving on from Luke. Let's go over to, uh, 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 Jade. And fuck, I didn't even talk about this shit. She is probably like one of the only characters that would go from mid tier to uh, top tier with one move. And that's Delia's dance, bro. Delia's dance is fucking cool. Gives you great mix ups, takes away all the flaws, block gaps, um, safe on block if you EX it. It's basically safe online. Like, Delhi is, like, I can't believe I didn't talk about this earlier. Delhi is just fucking cooked, bro. Like, if I was playing against a J that didn't have Delhi's, fucking GG is easy. You suck. But if you're playing against a J with Delhi's, you actually have to turn on your brain. So, oh, number eight. Number eight. Who are we putting at number eight? It's the Joker. It is 100% the Joker. Um, I think that's a pretty good spot for him there. Now, all right. Bad boy Kane. This is where Kane did. Um, oh, sorry. Didn't even talk about the best part of him. Uh, Ken Burns setups in the corner. All right. So, I can. I saw some of you guys saying, "Surely spawn top ten. Surely spawn top ten. You know what? You're all right. Spawn is top ten. Um." But if you have Soul Forfeit activated, then he's up here <laughs> because he just does oh way too much. I can't even, bro. I can't even move Jackie out of the top one spot. Spawn is top ten. So okay, well, okay. So I see a few of you saying Sub Zero. Sub Zero was actually going to be here, but a lot of people seem. Oh, I don't know, man. Like, if it was a top eleven. This, this would be it, 100%. These two are interchangeable. I think they are on the same level. Both of them have their strengths and their weaknesses. Um, but yeah, so Sub-Zero is down here. He is just outside the top 10. Uh, but yeah, his, his air axe is really strong. 11 frame slide goes under any highs. Yep. You have to use a mid to... Use that, like, go against that shit. Decent meterless damage. He has fantastic meterless damage. Like, he's dumb. He can get a side switch on any, um, on any, any combo that he wants. Like, he's just a, he's, he's a dumb character. He's a dumb character. I, I'm not going to get cancelled for saying it. But he's a dumb character. Offline, yes, he is a bit easier to play against. But... Online, demonic is all hell. If this was not, if this was a strictly online, my opinion tier list, he would be at top five. Uh, Fujin would be out of there. So. All right, so that's the Sub Zero talk over. Fuck that guy. All right, now I'm probably gonna rattle off a couple of different characters here um, as high tier, and I'll explain why. I'm probably going to put like six characters up here right now. And this is like, this isn't going to be in any particular order. Sub-Zero sits at the top of high tier. I'm going to try and order it, I think. Uh, uh. Uh, these three at the end, like, they're all together. Maybe just... Maybe just like that. Um... This is where you disagree hard right now. Okay, all right. Interesting. Where Metal... Okay. Metal Man is literally, like, right here. And he's he's here. He's not up here. Because... Because of reasons. Anyway. Okay, all right. I think we have one more. In this, uh... In this high tier. 
Oh no, sorry, we have two more. These are both viable characters as well. So we've got Cassie and we've got Kung Lao. So now we're, now we're at the mid tier. I'm just going to rattle off maybe three characters here. Um, Aaron, I think he is probably the highest mid tier character. He has a lot of good tools. Um, with the, uh, the acid pour, his down four, scud shot, enhanced locked and loaded. Um, what other moves did he have? Down peacemaker, the fucking cancels. Very good character. Very good character. Um, was top tier. Jack's gone missing, someone find him. Um, and then that's where we have our boy Nightwolf. Um, and another one of the best auto shimmies in the game with 111. Uh, gets ridiculous damage in the corner. Uh, command grab. Uh, armor break, which is very, very good, very useful. Um, it ticks off a lot of things too. What else? What else does he have? Um, oh, <laughs> bird, bro. The fucking pigeon. Two night wolves. Text book. He's auto shimmy fake offline. Good check Oh yeah, I'll, I'll check it out later. I kind of want to get going a bit. So I just finish this off. Um. Yeah, that that pigeon as well. That pigeon's kind of fucked. Ink. Now, this is where we're going to start to get a touch controversial. Bottom tier Y. Explain. This is a zoner with a teleport and stupid damage. And this is... This rivals spawns practical damage. Yes, it's harder to open you up. That's why he's down here. He has flaws, blocks, gaps on his main strings. So that's why he's down here. Same with her. But these two do so much damage. And they are both so strong. And anyway, these two dumbasses aside. Alright, who else do we have? In the mid tier. I'm going to put Katana here. These aren't ordered, by the way. These are not ordered. I'd maybe put Aaron at the top. But from here on out, these or the rest of these guys are mid tier. Same with about Sub Zero here. He's he's definitely the top of the high tier. And these guys, they're all interchangeable. Um, who else have we got? Collector. Collector is not the lowest of the low tier. Um, well, yeah. Okay. All right. So Sindel was actually going to be next on my list. Um, the only character in this game with two fatal blows. Oh, actually, okay, this is starting to get a bit hard now because and I, I think Scorpion definitely belongs like higher end of mid tier Like these I know I said they're not ordered, but it's kind of like They're all around the same. I think Scorpion is a bit better. These two are interchangeable, definitely. Maybe even just there. In all, in all honesty. Man, I do believe Jax is this low. Jax just gets zoned out, bro. Unless you nick him a bob. I just don't think Jax is that good. I don't really know how to explain why either. I just don't really think he's that good. Okay, you know what? Fuck you all. That's where he belongs. I completely forgot about him. This, okay. Yeah, look, I kind of want to move these people up to like high tier. Because like while they're at the bottom of high tier. Like they're still viable. You will still see a lot of these people playing these characters. These characters are all still viable, no matter where they are on the tier list. Like, even, even the low tier as well. Maybe except for, like, I don't know, one character. But all these, all these people 
as like are all viable you can all play them and win with them even like some of the worst characters all these characters here and even like look, look at this like she definitely belongs there I like I don't even know how to explain these low tier characters I don't know how to I don't know how to play a lot of them this is what I said before so noob if he touches you he explodes but he just has such a hard time just opening people up. Like, just block low against him. Yeah, look, I, I agree. And look, I would be more than happy to chuck him up here. Because he kind of does... Like, he all these characters here are all on the same sort of level, in my opinion. You could chuck him here. But I don't think he's better than sub... Like, I don't think he's stronger overall than Sub-Zero, Spawn, or Kano, Joker, Jade, like... I don't know, he has to work hard to open people up. So that's why I think he's a bit like out here. But he is like, don't get me wrong, he's got a very, very, very He's very, very good. Alright, well let's look. Let's actually compare. Kind of fucked, actually. <laughs> okay, all right. I kind of see what you're talking about now. I don't, I'm more, I'm more comfortable putting him just outside the top 10. Him and Sub-Zero, like... They're playing their own game. Let's leave Noob just outside the top 10. I think, I think I liked my top 10 set there. I think I like the highs there where they are. The mids. Uh, this guy. Um, and... Uh, maybe Frost can be a bit higher. Maybe Frost can be here. Maybe just there. Purely because of the uh, the ice augers. That's a very strong move. Put Shiva here too. Right at the bottom of mid. And Baraka. Yeah, this is like, look, this is my honest opinion in the experience of playing this game. That's just... Like, this is where I believe everyone sits. Like, every everyone... Everyone from here... All the way across. Down here, down here, down here, down here. All these guys are viable. Like, like everyone's viable. Everyone is viable. Everyone can work. But these guys, these three here... Have to work, like, a million times harder. Baraka... Blade charge, fucking spikes, gutted, the command grab, the low fucking, the low spear move, like the blade move. All cheap as shit. Shiva has good zoning and good mix up posts. Terminator has a teleport and some of the best mix in the game. Rivaled only really by Sub-Zero. Like Devorah has the best trap setups in the game. Collector has mad damage, teleport, mid command grab. Jax has the fucking most fuck off fate of lore in the game. Katana can just spam fans and just fucking shove her ass in your face. Um, everyone on this tier list is viable. You can win with any of them. Some more so than others. That's what a tier list is about. MK11 is the most balanced Mortal Kombat title to date. I know that kind of like a wild statement, but it is. Because some of the other shit in the other games, it was just fucked. Alright guys, that's got a tier list video there. Um, if you have anything to say, just leave a comment down below. Um, I hope you all liked it. I'm sorry if I put your favourite character right down the bottom. Um, like I did say, everyone is viable. Some just have to work harder than others. Um, I hope you can all understand that, being a three-year-old game. Um...
it should all be just common knowledge by now. But thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and yeah, hope you all enjoyed. All right, take care, guys.